That sure was some nightmare. It even left me with a monster headache. My head is killing me. This dilapidated room gives me the chills. Must be the cold draft. Here's an old trench coat. I wouldn't be caught dead in that thing. There is a bulge in the pocket of the trench coat. Those wooden planks creak a lot. The entrance to this house must have seen countless guests come and go. But it's just me now. That's a chilly draft blowing through this decrepit old living room. A masterpiece of the macabre. Its eyes follow me relentlessly. This picture is very alien to me. These leather-bound books remind me of my book collection still in storage. That's kind of unsettling. This secret room is dark and damp. The door is open. This attic is full of useless items left over from the previous owner. Some of these windows need to have the glass replaced. What a tremendous view of the town from up here! But the wooden railing looks as though it has seen better days. At least the lawn doesn't need mowing. This place is a shambles. Reminds me of my last garage. This car sure is old, but I think it could still be made to run. The battery still works. There's the trunk of the car. There's a crowbar in the trunk.
No use trying, it's really tight. There's an old diary inside this trunk. It's a calm neighborhood out here. My house seems somehow out of time, a relic of a dark past, or perhaps a dark future. The road seems strangely empty and unoccupied. This town looks unnaturally quiet. What a quaint general store with a little bit of everything for day-to-day -day existence. Serve yourself. Mr. Dawson, that's the last bottle, bottle, bottle of scotch. Boy, Delbert's gonna be mad. Hi, you must be Mike. I'm your neighbor, Delbert. Why don't we get together tomorrow? I'll meet you outside your place at six. You're a writer, huh? I'm a lawyer by trade. Why don't you take one of my cards? library, a venerable repository of knowledge. It guards its bounty behind a handsomely decorated structure. This room reminds me of my study, full of leather-bound books. This card really should be kept with the book. You'll find that one in aisle C. It's the one with the green cover. Sure is quiet here. You could hear a pin drop. The rows of books in the library stacks all look pretty much the same.
Here's an entry to an old cemetery, overgrown with weeds. This place looks like no one has been around and tended for a long time. There's no name on this stone. G. Threepwood, rest in peace. Sherry Day. Harcourt Benton Mud. He was no tribble at all. J.T.K. S. Nostromo. Rest in peace. John Campbell. Here lies a man who saw beyond time's horizon. Bobby Jacobs. Never thought you'd end up here, did you? The inscription has eroded with time. These are ancient symbols covering this mausoleum. But I'm not up on my Egyptian. <coughs> it worked. The door opened. Feels like a cold draft just hit me. Or is it just my nerves? The names on these caskets have faded away with time. I guess the caskets have been sealed shut to preserve freshness. There's a clock key among the ashes. Hello? Hello Mike, this is Sue at the library. We have a book on hold for you, so please drop by sometime. Hi Mike, here's the book that was put on hold for you.
I feel sleepy. I think I will go to bed now. These nightmares have given me a mean headache. My head feels like it's going to explode. This watch doesn't seem to be working. I better not eat anything coming from this kitchen until the cleaning lady has disinfected it. The door is stuck. I wouldn't want to see the food in here anyway. The refrigerator doesn't seem to be running. A strange odor seems to be coming from inside. Better not pry that door open. This mirror reflects a haunting image of me. This mirror is cold to the touch, a grim reminder of its unyielding quest for my true image. An unnatural glow emanates from the chamber. Strange machines provide energy 
nourishing the creatures cocooned in their sacks. What, what you, you do, do in, in the light, light is reflected in, in the dark. dark. Leaves from doors open before crossing over. The horrible shape twists and writhes as it hangs from its biomechanical umbilicus. It's cold to the touch. This is not a good place to practice my phrenology. This wall of skulls seems to be almost alive. These look like the plans for a gruesome biological experiment on a human. There's a ramp that leads to a raised platform. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. I feel like a cold wind just ran through my bones. That machinery hum sets my teeth on edge. I don't think there's anything in the world I could do to open that door. There's a secret door here. There's a pair of binoculars. Has someone been here before me? This cold and creepy landscape does not look like an inviting place for a picnic.
This is the outside of the alien edifice. It reminds me somewhat of the front of my own house. These petrified images of this alien forest remind me of something I had nightmares about as a child. All my gut feelings tell me not to go in there. However, nothing ventured. It smells like a hospital waiting room here. Perhaps it would be safer to return home now. R. Leibowitz, a canticle for his deeds. J. A. 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 Push, may he rest in peace. J. McKeegan. Come here, Dawson. I want a word with you. You're under arrest, Mr. Dawson. Come with me. What a cold and uninviting place. I never thought I'd be spending a night in here. Friend of Dilbert's, huh? Come with me, Dawson. This is the inside of a police station.
Good to see you, Dawson. Follow me. This must be the neighbor's yard. Coming by, Mike. This alien park was obviously engineered by creatures with a bizarre and cruel sense of humor. of an alien jail. They could use a new decorator. So that's where my gun went. You're going to rot for a few centuries, human. Alien graffiti scars the walls. No one who enters here ever leaves alive. Order leading to freedom. Greetings, human. I am Saro, prisoner of this dungeon for nine years. I am prepared to give you the gift of invisibility in exchange for my freedom. The sign over the doorway, if you could read it, would tell you this is the Dreketh Guards Recruitment Center. You're in the Great Archive Chamber. Many of the ancient secrets are available here for those who know how to access them. Greetings, Michael. I've been sending you messages over the radio. The ancients have implanted an alien embryo into your brain. If born, this creature will destroy you and all of mankind. You must find the ancients' power source and destroy it. Also, the police in your world are under the control of the ancients. Avoid them at all costs. Hurry, and good luck.
both my headache and these nightmares are getting worse. She's an extremely beautiful woman. She doesn't seem to notice me staring at her. This dark room looks like it is seldom used. Try turning on the viewer. Here's an extensive collection of empty wine bottles. The previous owner must have had some reason to drink. There's a set of keys. Under the rock was a set of keys.
The alien's power source appears to be located in this chamber. The stone seems energized and warm to the touch. Remember, anything seen in the mirror is not real. Only the mirror itself is real. Turn yourself in and leave behind the key which will only work in the dark world. The motor starts. This large room looks like a control center. You have just engaged the main engine startup sequence. I'm not really sure why I'm here, but I just felt drawn to you. I know it sounds strange, but what's even more strange is that I found these pills in my purse. It's a prescription filled in your name for relief of severe headaches. I'm just beginning to understand. <laughs> <laughs>